question. Where are you? Yes, you, my brother and my sister, where are we? Where are you? <laughs> you that Allah gave, He knows that He gave you. Allah gave you. Where are you? Why can't you wipe their tears? Why can't you let that mother who is having sleepless nights be happy? Why can't you make them happy? Allah is commanding you. He knows what He gave you. He knows what you have. And listen to the command from Allah. Allah said, give them something out of what Allah's wealth that He has given you. You understand this topic? Listen to Allah. And give them something out of Allah's wealth that He has given you. What you have, what you have is Allah's wealth. He put it in your hand. Allah said, take something out of it and give it to them. And wipe their tears and make them smile and make them happy. Don't be stingy on them. Make them happy. Because if you are not careful, you have it and you don't give. Allah said, you have been advised, reminded to feed, to give for the sake of Allah, to make them happy, to feed them, to help them with out of what Allah gave you. But some of you will be stingy. Allah said, whoever is being stingy, holding it, not giving it, only you and your children. And that orphan that you know is crying, and that orphan and the widow you know is crying, and the needy and the poor you know is crying, and you are not helping them, you are not wiping their tears, you are doing it to your own self. Allah said you are doing it to your own self. Don't you know? Allah is self-sufficient. And you are the poor ones. If you turn away without helping them, yes, Allah will change you. Since you cannot perform, you are in the field and you don't perform, the coach has to remove you and bring the next person, the new person who will act, who will what? Help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take you out or take that money away from you and give it to who will give? Those who will give. <laughs> so will you wipe their tears? Will you make them happy? الفتن وَيَكْثُرَ الْحَرُجُ وَهُوَ الْقَتْلُ الْقَتْلُ صدقت يا رسول الله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد My dear brother and my dear sister all thanks are due to Allah, the one and only Creator, the Supreme and the Most High. Question, have you heard? Have you heard about the 4.8 migrating earthquake that hit New Jersey, New York and Connecticut? Did you feel it? And we do not send a sign except to make them fear. The earthquake that just hit the 4.8 magnitude earthquake is a warning. It's a sign from Allah. It's a warning. Allah is warning us to be careful. 
and the only thing that can take this away is when we repent and we come back to Allah Anas radiyallahu an Sayyidina Anas radiyallahu an qal dakhaltu ala ummi al-mu'minin I went to the mother of the believers I went to her I and another man and the man said to her Ya Umma Al-Mu'mineen Haddithina An Zalazil Oh, mother of believers Tell us something about earthquake She said Ida stahallu zina Wa sharibu al-khamra If the time they make adultery, zina, something that they do and they don't care and they drink alcohol and they party, غار الله في سمائي وقال فقال and he will say to the earth shake them move them let them feel it warn them for in time but if they repent the moment they come back to Allah they repent and they are mindful it goes away else Allah will command the earth to shake and swallow. Ya Allah, we repent. Ya Allah, we have seen the sign. Ya Allah, we repent. We are in Ramadan. We are fasting. We are in the last 10 days of Ramadan. The 27th night of Ramadan. Ya Allah, Tubna ilallah. Tubna ilayka ya Allah. Tubna ilallah. Allahumma innaka afu wa tuhibbu al-afu wa fa'afu anna. Allahumma innaka afu wa tuhibbu al-afu wa fa'afu anna. Allahumma innaka afu wa tuhibbu al-afu wa fa'afu anna. Ya Allah, we repent. And we know you accept repentance. Ya Allah, you said... وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُرُوءًا أَوْ يَظْرِمْ نَفْسًا ثُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهِ يَجِدِ اللَّهَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا Whoever does any evil or wrong his own soul, then he seeks God's forgiveness. Then he seeks Allah's forgiveness. He repents. Allah, you promise that you will forgive the person and the person will find you forgiven and merciful. Ya Allah, we repent. Have mercy on us, Ya Allah. Forgive us, Ya Allah. Remove this earthquake, Ya Allah. Take it away, Ya Allah. Protect us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. We repent and we bear with us. No one deserves to be worshipped except you. You are one and the only one and the sole one and no one is like you. We bear with us and we testify. And we testify and believe that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Allah's last and final messenger. He said, La taqumu sa'atu hatta he said the hour shall not be established until knowledge is lifted. The religious knowledge is taken away by the death of the scholars. An earthquake will be frequent. وَيَتَقَارَبَ الزَّمَانِ And time will pass so quick. Time will be constricted. وَتَظْهَرَ الْفِتَنِ And afflictions will appear everywhere. Uh, 
and this is heartening brothers and sisters and listen to the last one wa yakthura alharuju and killings everywhere murder people are dying innocent children are dying women are dying the poor ones are dying the weak are dying the world is seeing <coughs> and this is a sign from Allah when this is frequent everywhere people die for no reason a baby is dying killing being killed for no reason this is a sign that we should all return to Allah and the world should go back to its sense before Allah destroy us all we pray may Allah forgive us all may Allah forgive us may Allah remove this earthquake may Allah protect us and wherever there is no peace, may Allah take peace there. Allah man. <laughs> Quickly, brothers. Our khutbah is going to be very short today. As our Imam said. So we're going to make it very short. But this message today, or oh, I'm giving right now, inshallah, is something that's part of it, inshallah, will remove all our problems. The children are saying to their mother, Mommy, what are we going to wear on the Eid day? Mother is quiet. The mom is quiet. And she started crying. I don't know. I don't know what she's going to wear on the Eid day. You know, since your dad passed away, it has been hard for us. It's not easy for us. Right now, I'm even thinking what to cook for you on that day. I don't know where to get what to cook for you to eat on the Eid day, to celebrate your Eid. It is your festival. And another one said to the daddy, Daddy, what are we going to wear on the Eid day? You haven't said anything yet. You haven't said nothing. Daddy is quiet. You know I'm jobless. You know I don't have job. You know things are not moving. You know I'm sick. I've been sick. It's not easy for me taking care of you. You don't even go to school because I cannot afford. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Question, where are you? Yes, you, my brother and my sister, where are we? Where are you? <laughs> you that Allah gave. He knows that He gave you. Allah gave you. Where are you? Why can't you wipe their tears? Why can't you let that mother who is having sleepless nights be happy? Why can't you make them happy? Allah is commanding you. He knows what He gave you. He knows what you have. And listen to the command from Allah. Allah said, Give them something out of what Allah's wealth that He has given you. You understand this topic? Listen to Allah. And give them something out of Allah's wealth that He has given you. What you have, what you have is Allah's wealth. He put it in your hand. Allah said, take something out of it and give it to them. And wipe their tears and make them smile and make them happy. Don't be stingy on them. Make them happy. Because if you are not careful, you have it and you don't give. Allah said, you are here.
ومن يبخل فإنما يبخل عن نفسي والله الغني وأنتم الفقراء وإن تتولوا يستبدل قوما غيركم ثم لا يكونوا أمثالكم There you go. Allah said you are being advised, reminded to feed, to give for the sake of Allah, to make them happy, to feed them, to help them with out of what Allah gave you. But some of you will be stingy. Allah said whoever is being stingy, holding it, not giving it, only you and your children. And that orphan that you know is crying. And that orphan and the widow you know is crying. And the needy and the poor you know is crying. And you are not helping them. You are not wiping their tears. You are doing it to your own self. Allah said you are doing it to your own self. Don't you know? Allah is self-sufficient. And you are the poor ones. If you turn away without helping them, Allah will change you. Since you cannot perform, you are in the field and you don't perform, the coach has to remove you and bring the next person, the new person who will act, who will what? Help. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take you out or take that money away from you and give it to who will give? Those who will give. <laughs> so will you wipe their tears? Will you make them happy? Brother, Allah, He knows that He gave you. Allah knows what He gave you. Please, for the sake of Allah. The Eid is coming and many widows and many orphans and the needy and the poor are crying. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to get to. They don't have what to buy. Something to buy clothes, new clothes for their children. They don't have what to cook for their children. And you have it, brother, make them happy. And listen to Allah. وَأَنْفِقُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى التَّهْلُكَةِ وَأَحْسِنُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And spend in the way of Allah. And feed in the way of Allah. And give in the cause of Allah. وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى التَّهْلُكَةِ don't let cause your hand use your hand and don't let your hand to cause your own destruction by holding it by being stingy because allah will take it away from you that thing that he gave you the wealth that he gave you he will take it away if you don't help and do good and wipe their tears. That widow is having sleepless night. Help her. And help that orphan. Allah loves those who do good. good. Will you make them happy? The Eid is coming. They don't have what to eat. The Eid is coming. They don't have what to wear. Please, for the sake of Allah, my dear brother, help them and Allah will help you. Send them money from today. When you leave this khutbah or when you hear this message, think of some of them. Think and send them something. Give them something. Wipe the tears of that widow. Let her smile and say, Alhamdulillah, I have something. Somebody sends me money to buy you clothes, to buy you food, and to cook for you the day of Eid. Will you make them happy? Alhamdulillah. My brother and my dear sisters, our brothers and sisters in need, and we know them. Let's stretch our hands and put smiles in their faces. Qala Rasulullah. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, Ahabbun nasi ilallah anfa'uhum lil nas. 
the most beloved of the people to Allah is he who is more beneficial to people the most beloved of people to Allah is he who is more beneficial to people وَأَحَبُّ الْأَعْمَالِ إِلَى اللَّهِ And the most beloved deed to Allah in the sight of Allah is سُرُورٌ تُدِخِرُهُ عَلَى مُسْلِمٌ To make your brother happy. That woman, that widow, those orphans, the needy, the poor, to make them happy to put happiness in their hearts or to remove their hardship or to pay their debts or to repel or to remove their hunger brother Allah has given you give for the sake of Allah feed them Allah knows what he gave you and is a test what he gave you is a test. If you give, he will give you more. And if you hold it, he takes it back. So now decide. What do you want? Do not let this eat come without you helping a poor person or the, an orphan or a needy. Never let that happen. Make sure you do your best. Allah said, he did not say give everything. He said give some. Allah did not say give all. He did not, don't be stingy and don't give all. He said give some. Some. And when you give some, he gives you more. We pray. May Allah give us the hearts to give some. And we pray. May Allah accept it from us. Brothers and sisters, what we should continue doing is still far. Let's all repent to Allah for this earthquake that just hits. Let's make dua. May Allah take it away. May Allah protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us our sins. Ya Allah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka an tahfadhana min al-zilzal. Ya Allah, protect us from this earthquake. Ya Allah, remove it from us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, take it far away, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, stop the earth. Say to the earth, calm and take it easy. They have repented. The Muslims, the believers among them, have called. They said they repent and they are fasting and I forgive them. So stop and don't move around. Ya Allah, say to your earth to stop and don't move us around. May Allah forgive us. Allahumma hadina wa hadibina wa jalla sababa liman ihtada. And I don't think you want me to remind you of the importance of the 27th night of Ramadan. We know. So today don't sleep. Make sure. You give all and the best to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ramadan is gone. It's gone. This is the last Friday of this year's Ramadan. Next Friday, Ramadan is gone. It has become history. Ya Allah, are we going to live to see the next Ramadan? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Ya hayu ya qayyum. We know you can do it. Allah, give us long life to see more Ramadan. Allah, we ask for help. Protect us. Make things easy for us. The sick among us, heal us, Ya Allah. Those who are okay, Ya Allah, continue to bless and protect us, Ya Allah. Those who are looking for jobs, we pray Allah and give them good jobs, Ya Allah. The job that you will always remember and come to pray, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we pray the business owners among us, you bless their businesses, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we pray that we lost our fathers and mothers, all the loved ones, Ya Allah, we pray that you forgive all of them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we pray that you help our brothers and sisters in Gaza, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the children of Gaza, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the women of Gaza, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the weak of Gaza, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we put them in your hand, protect them, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect them, Ya Allah. Wherever there is no peace, Ya Allah, we pray that you take peace over there, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect us and our families, Ya Allah. Protect us and our children, Ya Allah. Make our children better than us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make things easy for us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept our fasting, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, accept our good deeds, Ya Allah. Accept our sadaqah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we repent and we ask 
mercy, Ya Allah. You are the most merciful of the merciful, Ya Allah. Have mercy on us. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kema salli ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. Inna ka hamidun majid. Wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad. Kema barik ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. Inna ka hamidun majid. Don't forget this Friday. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad as much as you can on your way home. And say, Astaghfirullah. Wa kumulia salatu wa rahmatullah.